Welcome to Growth TV. I'm Carolyn Vallejo. Today, I'm excited to talk to the incoming CEO of ACG, Brent Baxter. Brent is a 25-year veteran of the middle market M&A world, coming to us from an investment banking firm in St. Louis. He's also spent years working closely with ACG's chapter network and serving in several volunteer positions with ACG headquarters, including as chairman of the board. Brent, a very warm welcome to Growth TV. Thank you. So first, tell us a little bit about why you wanted to step into this role and what you're most excited about. Well, as you mentioned, you know, I've had a 25, almost 25 year relationship with ACG. And as an investment banker, uh, ACG has been invaluable, maybe essential to any transaction that I've been involved in. And I've built countless incredibly valuable relationships through those many years of ACG. As you mentioned also, I was privileged to serve on the board, served in the uh, essentially the executive committee for nearly six years, two years as finance chair and four years uh, in the office of the chair and one year as chair of the board. It's an organization I know so well. And it's an organization that I owe a lot to. And it's an organization that I have such belief and confidence in, and I am just elated uh, to be selected for this role. We're all very elated as well. Do you have any plans for specific ACG products that people should know about? Well, yes, that could be a very long run on sentence. Uh, so uh, first, ACG is in a wonderful place right now. As I think many of our folks know, we've just achieved a record number uh, of total members. Our chapter system is strong and capable of executing growth. And even though we have very, very significant market share in certain member segments, we have enormous room for growth. So middle market private equity, a huge area of ACG, uh, but there's probably 40% of that market that is not yet deeply engaged in ACG. When we talk about corporate acquirers, even though we have as many corporate members as we do private equity members, we probably have a tenth of that market. And ACG is the right organization for all of those types of constituencies. We have the best in class law firms, accounting firms, service providers, and those folks will help us build an even larger constituency. Our media properties, as uh, you guys are part of that organization, uh, we've tripled the scope of our media outreach in the last three years. Our digital and print publications touch hundreds of thousands. And thanks to you guys, our Growth TV uh, has probably exceeded 2 million views, and that's incredibly exciting. And to go on, uh, the GF data is the source for accurate middle market information. It's essential to understand transaction volumes, transaction valuation, debt, leverage, cost of capital, what drives a quality company, and we're going to grow that. And we have some incredible partners, uh, just to name a few, Insperity and Grata, and, and those are great resources for our members. So it's just exciting. Definitely. Now you're coming to ACG from Nolan and Associates, an investment banking firm in St. Louis. Could you tell us a little bit about what you're seeing in the steel market right now and how you hope that ACG can help middle market M&A professionals better navigate it? Well, sure. So uh, Nolan as a boutique investment banking firm, uh, you know, we're not a barometer of the entire market, though we're very robust. We're having a wonderful year. But we can certainly see uh, caution uh, in owners worried about recession. We certainly see caution in the buyer community concerned about interest rates and the cost of capital. Uh, diminishing worry about recession, but it's still there, you know. And so anytime there's caution, uh, there's caution and sellers become cautious and sit on the sidelines. Uh, the reverse side of that is, as our data would say from GF data, you know, transaction activity is still very, very strong, particularly for a quality asset. So anytime an owner or private equity firm has a quality asset, those are coming to market and those are getting very, very robust levels of activity. And I think over the next few months, as the sort of economic uncertainty settles, uh, we're going to see transaction volumes return and we're all going to be crazy busy. 
Uh, and ACG is always the ante in the game. You have to be engaged in ACG to know what's going on in these markets, to have those referrals, to see what's happening in the investment banking community, to see where our lenders are. So it's just a vital, vital resource. Up or down, middle or sideways, please be engaged in ACG. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much, Brent. We're so excited to have you with us, and we can't wait to see what lies ahead. Us too. Thank you.